Okay. Are you guys ready? I hope this works and we all have fun because I think your teacher's looking at me like we're crazy. Okay. So, welcome everyone, especially if you're watching from REI Vietnam. This is at Hanoi University and I had our first lecture on the trade war. Terrible lecture, I'm sorry you had to deal with it. But one of the things that we did do was break into small teams and the assignment was have a workshop. You and your team come up with what should be Vietnam strategy in terms of dealing with the global trade war. And so with that, I'd like to hand it over to our first team, but otherwise I'm just gonna sit in the back and listen. And I have my notebook here and I want to take notes because I'd really like to hear what you have to say. So can I please have our first group? Ellen? Believe me, it's so fun. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Harley, and I'm from class 7 and 18. And um, now I'm going to uh, demonstrate some strategies. Uh, strategies that Vietnamese should pursue to uh, uh, improve our economy. So, uh, firstly, uh, I think that our, the government should invest in the education field. Uh, be, uh, because uh, I think that education is the root of uh, the development of many countries. Uh, so, I think that um, uh, the government should put more uh, should uh, put more budgets into the education uh, that um, make, uh, making sure that, uh, that that children in every part of our country get education and um, somehow I, I want that uh, in maybe in the next 10 years that education will be free for all students from, uh, from the uh, kindergarten to uh, high school. And now, um, moreover, uh, I think that um, um, the government uh, should uh, organize a uh, university in uh, Vietnam. Uh, I think that uh, we have too many universities, and um, um, that's uh, what, what we need is that uh, universities uh, teach students uh, practical things uh, and um, making sure that they get, in, they, 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 they get the job the one after uh, graduating the universities because um, and we have too many uh, students and the job market now is so competitive uh, we have to face uh, um, unemployment uh, issues a lot and uh, secondly I think that um, uh, the uh, second strategy is, uh, is that uh, investing in the facilities um, uh, uh, first, uh, uh, the first uh, kind of facilities is a uh, public, uh, uh, the pu the public transport. Uh, so uh, since we have to face uh, air pollution, uh, so uh, I think that public transport is really the solution to um, decrease the uh, uh, traffic in the rush hours. Uh, and as we uh, can uh, avoid also the. Uh, uh, the uh, traffic stocking in the uh, rest hours, uh, people will have more time uh, to work and study, and um, I think that uh, contributes to the, uh, ec uh, the economic development. Uh, and uh, secondly, uh, and, uh, and uh, 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 additionally, um, I, I think that uh, there are other kinds of facilities that uh, our country really need to invest in. Uh, for example, um, uh, other kind other kind of uh, uh, public uh, uh, things to serve the community, uh, such as the uh, um, uh, such as uh, the uh, uh, hospitals. Oh, I I I think that. Um, I, I can see that uh, a hospital in Vietnam has to face so many problems, problems nowadays and one of that is uh, 
disasters they are so crowded and um, other facilities need to improve as well as um, the, for, for example the schools for children or the um, or the uh, or the uh, uh, public uh, offices uh, they can um, uh, they can improve the public offices by uh, uh, applying uh, on uh, on my um, processes uh, when uh, the citizens uh, need to uh, do something in uh, these offices. So uh, that's my idea. Thank you for listening. Could anyone please go next? Any other uh, ideas? Uh, any, I would like to hear uh, any other ideas. And you can go on, and you can go on a team too. Sometimes it's good to team. Like if you go karaoke, you don't have to sing by yourself. You can sing with somebody else. Um, how about one more? Anybody like to just share with your classmates what you think? in uh, class 4 and 19. Uh, well, uh, I would like to show you three, three strategies that Vietnamese, uh, that Vietnamese uh, pursues in uh, verbalization. Um, first of all is forced modernization. Uh, in this strategy, Vietnam initiated um, a modest effort to modernize its naval and air forces. For example, in 1994, uh, Vietnam and the Russian Federation signed an arms sale agreement to um, boost the economy of Vietnam. Um, and Vietnam's military modernization programs were clearly aimed at improving its uh, capacity to to monitor its uh, territorial waters, and the second um, and the second strategy is um, the national defense defense industry self help. Um, Vietnam's nations Vietnam nation defense defense industry developed the capacity for ship yard repairs, um, assembling navy. Uh, navy patrol boat and constructing small surface um, combat combatants and the and the last one is um, international defense diplomacies. Uh, Vietnam now um, are in um, are in um, are in the deep down diplomacies with a try with mostly with China. For example. Almost, uh, almost goods in Vietnam um, imported uh, from China. And um, for example, in September 2012, uh, at, the at the third China Vietnam stra Strategic Defense and Security Dialogue, two sides two side agreed to um, sign in an, uh, in an agreement uh, to imports and export uh, goods uh, from one country to another country. 
And that's all what I want to say. Thank you for your listening. good strategies for your country next it can really be you know next 100 years too you know sometimes the strategy is not just short term but could be long term so I know I said trade war which sounds like wow this is important it is important but sometimes you know what you really want to focus on is your 10-year dream 20-year dream 50-year dream so again if you would like to come talk about what you'd like for your country to focus on um, and it can be any time length, but in terms of what's important strategy, you can really come up and welcome me to do that. Uh, 
realized we should take advantage of the technology between the US, like we learn how they make a machine and we import the uh, technology products to uh, like make a replex a replicament of this I guess. Um, and there's another thing that we should do that we sh uh, as the in-between country in the trade war, uh, we have the advantages of skipping all the developing stage of uh, uh, developing developing countries as well. That's why we should like take uh, take all the advantages that we got from these two big uh, country, China and the US, um, uh, as well as the. Uh, as well as the use all the natural resources uh, and as we got and we also should be more open to other country uh, in uh, international communication to receive more support from other country all around the world and I think that is for my strategies. Thank you. Uh, that was very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, we still have more time. I have a lot of flash memory. So anyone, anyone else like to go to share your opinions? Please come up. Um, hi, my name is Wang, and I'm from class seven A eighteen. So first, I want to make clear that I'm not ma I do not major in business. So. Everything I share now is just for my my own my knowledge and my perspective. So if it's not true, then forgive me. Um, so as I heard that a lot of people make a lot of good points around the our strategies that Vietnamese people could um, apply to develop our country. So I just want to make some uh, make points in some uh, aspects. The first one is economy. As as you say that Vietnam ranked the first place, ranked the first place place are uh, in economic growth. Um, I try to find a reason, and I think that there is thanks to the young population. As you know that Vietnam now we have a lot of young people with creativity and passion. So. Uh, so I, I think that now we have a, a lot of start 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 up, you know. Do you know Shark Tank? Shark Tank. Uh, yeah. So I I I watch several several programs, and I I can see that they have a lot the young people they have a lot of um, like new ideas and really interesting ideas, and I think that the government really should uh, invest into these um, these young people, the new startups. I think they are the future of our country. And second is the military. Well, this this year, I I I take no, I, I attended a military course. Maybe I you attended the one month course in Malibu, right? <laughs> yeah. And I have to say that. All I feel is it is well organized. Our military, and maybe just our course. I don't know the whole military, but I feel for my course is is quite well organized and strict. But one thing that we should improve is the facility. <laughs> you did experience the night without the fans, right? And and the bad quality of the water is really bad, right? So I think that the government should invest more in the military. 
and the last one is education. So, uh, from my knowledge, I know that recently our education minister minister made a lot of changes in education, like changing textbooks in programs. So I think it's a good sign because um, uh, at my age, I experienced the education that I do not really enjoy because every day I go to school and I just sit passively in the class, listening to the teacher, and I feel like I cannot develop my potentials yet and my abilities. So I think that the government is really like doing really good in this uh, aspect. Um, and yeah, that's all the aspects that I want to emphasize. Thank you for listening. Thank you, that was so nice. Uh, can I get one more volunteer? Anyone else would like to go? And you can go a team member too. Oh, it's fine. Anyone else? I mean, I will be back next year too, but why wait till next year when you can do this now? Would anyone else just like to come up and talk about your thoughts, a strategy? I know we've covered a lot. I think I'll, I'll talk slow in case you change your mind. You know, I think you know public education was wonderful. Um, talked a lot about having national defense and security, indeed, and infrastructure. Um, anyone? Else, any other thing? Healthcare infrastructure and technologies supporting startups. I think they're all tremendous strategies. You know, the crazy thing is, I bet in the next five or ten years, many of you will be in a position to make policies or influence how your government supports some of these strategic initiatives. And it could be that you're in a banking sector, or you're in the tourism industry, or you're in some sort of management business, or hospitality, or public policy, or unfortunately like me, finance, although I love finance. But the point being, hopefully starting right now, you get to talk with each other. Hopefully now you learn from some of your own classmates what they think is important in terms of the future direction of your country and strategic choices that you make. I think they're all very good, what you suggested. And I think the key is, like right now you're all, is it first and second year students? Third and fourth year students? First and second year students? You know, really um, invest a lot of time and energy getting to know each other. And, um, you know, I tried to talk about the trade war, but really, you know, what I was here to also talk about was, again, social networking. And just to tell you what I was trying to talk about is, you know, I asked you, in some ways, what should be your strategy for your country? And really, it could also be, what should be the strategy for you? And so you may have a one-year strategy, and you may have a ten-year strategy, What's really terrific is when you start to know each other's 10-year strategy and you start to think about it year by year, you will have a way to come up and execute your own 10-year strategy. That's really about being linked in and like knowing each other and being connected and just, again, what do you want to do? So anyway, thank you so much for talking to me and sharing with me your knowledge. And actually, everyone else who's going to watch from my community is very interested in Vietnam and what we're doing here in Vietnam. And I wanted to be... Um, you know, it's really grateful to have this opportunity to show off how amazing and bright and how much potential I see uh, for you and your country. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I guess you're dismissed. And that's it. Anyone had any questions? Any questions? Any questions for you guys? No. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.